We were invited by Hyundai Motor Philippines here in Cebu to test their entries under new generation lineup. What's up guys? Ken Flores here for SIGWheels.ph. Let's check out the Hyundai Creta and the Stargazer. Let's start with the Hyundai Creta. By the looks of it, it's quite similar to the vibes of the Palisade, their much bigger SUV. I'm also digging the gloss black grille at the front, which they called the parametric dual pattern design that also encompasses the DRLs that gives the Creta more character. At the back, you'll find the sci-fi looking tail lamps that really complement the overall look of the Creta. On the inside, they have this cognac leather at the dashboard and the door panels, which I think gives the Creta a little bit more elegance. Surprisingly for its price, the 8-inch infotainment has Android Auto and wireless Apple CarPlay that you will usually find on a much more expensive vehicle. Now going to the Stargazer. Their people mover vehicle because of its size and 7-seater capacity. Up front, the first thing you'll notice is the DRLs that runs across the hood. Some people hate it and some loved it, but I like it. You also got LED headlamps and halogen fog lamps. On the side, you'll see the 16-inch alloy wheels that I found very interesting because of the geometric design. At the back is where it gets more enticing. The light bar that also runs across the rear section gives it a continuity to the front fascia of the Stargazer. Not to mention the vertical tail lamp that forms like the letter H. The overall design of the Stargazer is a very nice break from all the other MPVs in the market today. The Creta and the Stargazer shares the same engine, a 4-cylinder, 1.5-liter smart stream engine with 113 horsepower and 144 newton meters of torque. I had several hours of driving time with the Creta and the Stargazer. They are both very comfy. You'll feel safe and secure, especially when you are behind the wheels of these two vehicles. The driving feel is almost similar, although the Creta is more agile compared to a more family-oriented Stargazer. We are four large guys with a bunch of stuff like camera equipment and personal bags. With all that weight and load, the power was more than enough to get you through the uphills and suburban roads here in Cebu. As for the suspension, you get the standard McPherson strut at the front and coupled torsion beam axle at the rear. It is definitely impressive on how cozy and pleasant the Creta and the Stargazers ride. Even on bumpy roads, twisties, poor visibility, and wet roads. Just as expected for a Hyundai family car like these two. But for some, they may find it a little too soft or floaty. Engine noise when going uphill penetrates through the cabin, but it's not really that loud like a diesel engine. And what's important is that it can take you to places with ease and confidence. So we're here now at Lake Viola Hardin, our first pit stop in this media drive. to tell us more about this trip and the vehicle is Hyundai Motor Philippines General Manager for Marketing, Mr. Mark Parulan. Hi, I'm Mark Parulan, General Manager for Marketing of Hyundai Motor Philippines. Uh, Hyundai Motor Philippines acknowledges that Cebu is one of the important markets of our brand and we'd like to uh, give the opportunity to highlight the many uh, scenic views and scenic places of Cebu. With that, we also found some challenging terrains that can uh, showcase the capabilities of our cars, which is the Stargazer and the Creta. 
So we found some twisty and uphill roads that will be able to highlight the power and uh, dependability of the engine of the Stargazer and the Creta. And the twisty roads will also be able to showcase the safety features of both vehicles. So both the Creta and Stargazer uh, exude a very uh, futuristic styling, which is very uh, much appreciated by the market. And second, both share the same uh, platform in terms of engine. So it has a very dependable engine and it has the right amount of power to be able to uh, conquer uh, uphills such as what we're experiencing to, at today's event. And then lastly, both carry the smart sense technology that will assure our, our drivers or our customers a safe and enjoyable ride. Stop at Il Corso to regroup and prepare for the shoot at the famous Cebu Cordova Link Expressway. Drones will be flying and the production crew will film us while we're traversing the bridge. That's our last stop before we head to our hotel and call it a day. The second day in our Hyundai Media Drive was more of a leisure. We went island hopping. It was a lengthy boat ride, but it's totally worth it because of the breathtaking views of the island. It's definitely a great adventure. Thanks to Hyundai Motor Philippines for bringing us here in Cebu, a true Queen City of the South indeed. And that's all for this three-day Hyundai Media Drive here in Cebu City. To get the latest updates, news, and events, follow Zigwheels and subscribe to our channel. Again, this is Ken Flores. See you on the next videos.